What's going on everybody? Total Average Gamer here back with another video. Today we are going to be looking at my setup. This is a very requested video and I really wanted to make it also. Uh, we're going to go through everything, my nano leaves, my wall panels, monitor, uh, my, you know, my, even my recording studio equipment. And first thing I want you guys to take a look at right here is my monitor. This is the Samsung Odyssey G9. Love this thing to death. It has a dual 1440p resolution, so it's two screens in one. It has 240 hertz refresh rate. It is a QLED one millisecond monitor. It's literally everything you can ever ask for in a monitor. And also, the peak brightness is 1000 nits, which is ridiculous. That's even brighter than my actual TV I have. Uh, my wall panels, I got them online on Amazon. They were cheap, it was like 50 bucks. For a set of four and i got two sets of four uh also nano leaves were expensive but well worth it if you ask me nano leaves were 200 bucks per set uh, you see i have two sets also i want you guys to take a look at my pc itself so this is where the magic happens this is what's powering up the whole setup i have a rtx 3080 rogue strix white edition which is actually pretty funny that before this i had a 3080 aurus master and that one I loved, but just the software was too bad for me. So I got really lucky. I got that card MSRP. It only cost a total with tax of $908. The card itself was only $850. So this one I have here now is the LHR version because I don't do any mining. And the card I had before was not LHR. So I wind up straight up trading it with somebody, uh, which is awesome. It didn't cost me anything more. And I got, you know, the card I really wanted. The Aorus Master that I had was not overclocked. It did not have three power connectors. It only had two. But this one is the overclocked white Rogue Strix card, uh, which what I would consider the top of the line. 3080. I also have a Ryzen 7 5700X NZXT Kraken Z73 Corsair Dominator RAM, 32 gigabytes of RAM at 3200 megahertz corsair ql 120s lian lee streamer plus cables and these are the newer versions as you can tell they're a little thicker brighter more colorful if you already own a set of lian lee streamer pluses i would recommend upgrading them to these new versions they don't say anything about a new version but they are definitely new and they look way better also my case is the o11 dynamic xl and as you can tell it looks a lot different than all the other o11 dynamic xls uh, this one is the white one and usually the white trimmings you see on mine they're usually in, in a black color and that is because i went ahead and custom wrapped my own case it was super easy to do just took the square corners and just cut them out uh, used the heat gun and everything came out really really good much better than i thought it was going to turn out I love the way my case looks, love the way my PC looks. It took a long time for me to actually get it the way I wanted it to be. My desk is a custom build from Ikea. It is the, I'm the I can't pronounce it right, M. Beckin uh, desktop in the white marble finish with the Alex drawers and these little black things I ordered on Amazon for like five bucks for each of them. My keyboard I'm using is a Studio Logic SL88, uh, weighted keys, all that stuff, piano feel, graded hammer keys. I'm a pianist myself, so I love to have those weighted keys and all that, definitely need them. As you see, the stand I have is a rollout stand and I put it underneath my desk, so it's very easy to get to my keyboard. Right here I have a Akai LPD88 and this is used as a drum pad and also some additional controls. It works perfectly because this keyboard doesn't have any additional controls compared, doesn't have any other conditional, doesn't have any additional controls other than the uh, mod wheel, pitch wheel, all that stuff. I have a Alesis Nitro drum set, which is awesome. Really good drum set. It's my studio monitors are the Alesis Elevate 5 Mark IIs, and I also have a Mackie subwoofer on this Focusrite Scarlett Solo Gen 3. The next item I want to speak about is my headset. It is the Razer Nari Ultimate, 
and they sound amazing they sound great with the whole rumble bass feature but one major problem i have with them is they're way too big and the second major issue is the microphone is complete trash i don't use it at all so i'm looking forward uh, to getting a new headset as you can see right over here i have my awesome lightsabers uh, all the kyber crystals from the disney parks which i think they look amazing on the desk i have two lightsabers from the disney parks and i have three lightsabers from alliesabers.com if you're interested in checking them out they make really high quality lightsabers check out some of my other videos to see their lightsabers in action and use code total average gamer to save 15 bucks off your next purchase it really helps out the channel now for my keyboard i am rocking a gmmk pro with these awesome keycaps that i ordered from amazon for like i think they were like 30 bucks super cheap they are pbs keycaps and for the switches they are gazoo boba u4t very good switches sound excellent here's a sound test For my mouse, I'm using the Logitech G Pro Super Light, and I love it. Very light, very high quality. Definitely recommend it. As for my controller, I have the Elite V2 controller. I got this since launch day for my birthday a few years ago, and I put a custom white faceplate on it, and I love this controller. I hardly use controller anymore because I'm on PC, but I still use this controller, I guess, whenever I use a controller. Now these are the Corsair LT100s and these actually come in a black color but as you see white right now because I also custom wrapped these and they look awesome way better than just a plain black and the reason why I did them white because as you can see my whole setup is kind of white so I wanted to follow that theme. After calculating everything within two years of building my setup and this isn't including stuff that I don't have my setup right now like my old graphics card my old computer my old mouse and keyboards uh, counting what I have right now what everything that I showed you today it comes up to a whopping ninety one hundred and sixty dollars within two years of building this setup ninety one hundred dollars that's ridiculous. But you know what? Come to think about it, it's worth it. Uh, I use my setup more than I use anything. Right here, I will leave the list of all the items and how much they cost. If you want to take a look at that, just pause the video. So here's my advice. Should you get into PC gaming? Should you get a setup like this? Is it too expensive? Yes, it's too expensive. I would say that it's definitely too expensive, but it doesn't have to be that expensive. Like you can get a really nice setup for the total cost of like 1500 or two grand getting a desk, getting a monitor, a computer. That's all it could cost. It's just, I went the extra mile and really wanted, you know, the best. That's why I got my monitor and the leaves. I mean, it's just, I don't know why, just the kind of guy I am. But thank you very much for watching the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It'll help out the channel a lot. You have a good one.